Hello everyone. My name is Sayed Saidil Sanari. I am from Pakistan. I hope you are all doing great. I am a senior software engineer at Folio 3 and today the topic of our presentation as you all can see is Let Sync which is inspired from an old cartoon named Beyblade and in this presentation we are going to talk about the syncing between Elasticsearch and MongoDB. So we are going to start our presentation with understanding the problem for syncing Elasticsearch and MongoDB, what tools we have for Elasticsearch and MongoDB syncing, what is Monstash, how it works and how to use Monstash and a little demo on Monstash. So let's start with understanding the problem. So we at Folio3 ran into this situation where we had to sync Elasticsearch with MongoDB. So we had a server that was updating MongoDB and in that server we wrote a wrapper that wherever, wherever, whenever a change would come to update MongoDB then also update Elasticsearch as well. So, so what would have what was happening was that a request came to update MongoDB, then the server would also update Elasticsearch as well. But with this approach, we have one problem that if I'll update anything directly in MongoDB, then then that change will not be reflected in Elasticsearch. But that's one problem. What if we have multiple sources that are updating MongoDB? Then we'll have to write wrapper in all the sources to update Elasticsearch as well. So as we all can see here that there are two sources that are updating, updating MongoDB and there are and hence they are, or they are also updating Elasticsearch as well. It means these two sources are having the same code for updating MongoDB and Elasticsearch together. So which causes repetition of code and uh, other problems as well, which are there is no single source of truth for syncing of data. With the repetition of code, chances of error increases and hence the chances of loss of data also increases. And then we'll have to man manually handle flashes and conflicts. What is the right way? Well, the right way could be that there should be something here in between to sync Elasticsearch and MongoDB and make the syncing mechanism independent of the sources that are updating MongoDB. So we, we, we need something here that will read the changes in, Mong, uh, in MongoDB and then write those changes in Elasticsearch. So we are going to discuss the solution later in the talk, but let's move towards what tools we have in, for syncing of Elasticsearch and MongoDB. Let's start with Mongo Connector. Mongo Connector creates a pipeline from Las MongoDB to Elasticsearch, but it has its own cons. Mongo Connector does not provide a good support for Elasticsearch 6 and onwards. And not to forget that its repository has not been updated since two years. Transporter. Transporter is a good tool to export data from MongoDB to Elasticsearch, but it does not provide any real-time syncing. So Mongoosastic. Mongoosastic is a Mongoose plugin written over Mongoose. It is a Node.js plugin. It is only useful when changes in MongoDB are done through the server since so that's that's the problem that we have discussed earlier any changes that done directly to mongodb will not reflect in Elasticsearch, as we have already discussed earlier and there's another problem using this if we have if we will have multiple sources that are updating mongodb then this will eventually fail so how we should uh, we can sync mongodb in real and elastic search in real time so we can sync Elasticsearch and, real, and MongoDB in real time using Monstash. Monstash is a sync daemon written in Go. So you will have to, you will need Go to run Monstash. It syncs MongoDB collections into Elasticsearch in real time. It is possible for Monstash to sync, to index an entire MongoDB collection to Elasticsearch and then keep it synced. So I have also provided the link for the Monstash repository. So how it syncs in real time? Monstash reads the uplog of MongoDB that it is connected to. The uplog are, are basically the operation logs that are performed in the MongoDB. And Monstash reads those logs and perform the relevant operations in Elasticsearch. But in order to produce the uplog of MongoDB, you will have to configure the MongoDB as a replica set. So that's the Monstash here, it's simply reading the changes from MongoDB and writing those changes in Elasticsearch. And it is also reading the data from the collection and indexing it in Elasticsearch. 
So let's see the code and the demo. So let's see how it how to install Monstash. It's pretty simple. Uh, I have this Docker file that is running in that is installing and running the Monstash. First, uh, I clone the repo of the Monstash and then I check out to the relevant uh, target or tag, which is basically the version for the Monstash and I run comod download, which will download the necessary dependence for Monstash to run. We're skipping this part. This is for the plugin, which is more advanced topic. Now let's come to the how to run after the relevant operations are done. How to run Monstash, just go to the bin folder and then Monstash minus F and then file, file part to the file. So what is in this file? So monstash.toml is a configuration file which contains uh, some configurations, obviously. So here is the MongoDB URL, MongoDB URL from which the monsters need to read the collections or data. And this is the Elasticsearch URL on which the MongoDB will sync Elasticsearch with MongoDB. And so which names, which DB or which collection I want to sync. So in that will that I will prov provide in namespace physics monstash.products monstash is my monstash demo is my uh, db name and products is my collection name so i as i told earlier that monstash can also index an entire mongodb collection to elasticsearch so for that the configuration is this direct read namespace i will tell here that from this collection you will have to that this collection you will have to index it in elasticsearch so if with this configuration, Mongo Monstash will index the entire collection in Elasticsearch. But with that, you will have to uh, mark this config configuration as false. Else, if this is set to the Monstash will end after indexing the entire collection in Elasticsearch. And so, so on which index Monstash should update the data. So that is mentioned here that in that at this index index monster should update the data from MongoDB. So that's a simple configuration file. You can read about it more on the monster's documentation. And now let's see uh, how it works, um, the demo. So I have this object in Elasticsearch. So let's pick a field that uh, we would change in MongoDB and see and the change in Elasticsearch. Um, so let's say we'll change store. So let's open, I have already searched the product in MongoDB. So let's uh, edit the product. So, okay, so I'm gonna just append some numbers to it and save. So by now, the Elasticsearch should have been updated. The, uh, now let's see. Perfumer. So, so yeah, as you all can see, I updated the data in last and MongoDB, and now it has been updated in Elasticsearch. Let's go back to the presentation. So, I would like to now end my presentation with the quote of Winston Churchill: "That this is not the end. It is not." even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning.